So I bought this camper last night and we're loading it up on the truck and this corner jack broke right out. See, we didn't even get it all the way on the truck. So I already ripped this all apart, took all these screws out in the trim pieces and pulled this back. And you can see inside it's kind of a little rotten here. There was a piece that went all the way in here and down that was rotten. And there's another piece that went along the bottom here that was all rotten all the way back. So I'm halfway through kind of repairing it now. And I got a few pieces of hardwood on the bottom here to reinforce it there. Then I'm going to stick another piece up in this gap here. But before I do that, I have this piece. And I pre-drilled it because it's hardwood. I don't want it to split on me or anything. This piece is going to go up in here like that and fill that gap. And then once I get this all back together, there's an angle bracket over here that'll go on the corner of the camper. And this is what the jack gets bolted to. So what I'm doing is just reinforcing this corner so that this has something to bolt to. The, uh, the frame in behind, the wood frame here, this piece is still solid. It's not uh, broken or anything, not rotten. So I'm just gonna anchor back into that. You can see at the bottom here, it's pretty rotten. There's what, one, kind of two, three pieces of plywood. One piece of plywood here, one piece of plywood there a bottom piece, another piece of plywood. So this thing's kind of had some repairs before. It's a 1980. It's getting up there in, in age, but it's a, a good camper. Um, it's a 11 foot, the biggest camper I think you can get. Um, but it's all here. It doesn't leak. Uh, apparently all the appliances work. It's got a hot water heater uh, under there, furnace, stove works. Um, Batteries and everything. Uh, I didn't come with it, but the electrical system is supposed to work. Uh, water system, electric pump, everything's there. You know, it comes with a few extras, room for someone to sleep here, someone to sleep up there. So it's a perfect little hunting shack. I can put it on a car trailer and take it out in the bush for hunting season. But for now, I just got to get the corners fixed. You can see the other corner up here. Uh, what? what it's supposed to look like when it's on there. So these lag bolts all go in to that wood frame that's behind there. And again, on this back side to anchor it all in there. But because this thing's so big and heavy, it just kind of wants to tweak, tweak it right out. You can see there, it's got a pretty good lean on it. Um, and that's just from jacking up with too much weight on an unlevel surface and stuff. But uh, all around, I'm pretty happy with it. All the jacks seem to be good. Uh, we overfilled this one last night, trying to get it up so it's puked out a little bit of ATF, but otherwise it's good. Like I said, it's dry, furnace works, good place to spend the night, and that's all I'm looking for. So I'll update you guys when I get a little bit more work done on this corner up here. So a little update, I could not find a caulking gun for this PL, I was gonna glue everything together. So I got this rigged up, socket inside out, and we use that to depress the plunger inside, and hopefully we can get this thing glued together without having to go find a caulking gun. So I did end up finding a caulking gun from my neighbor. Nice of him to lend this to me. So I got this all glued up. I'm just letting it breathe for a second here. I'll put that piece on, get it all glued up nice and tight. And then we can glue this bottom piece in as well. So I got this little replacement piece in. It's glued in behind there both places, put a bunch of screws, three inch screws all the way back into the frame, all the way down here. Still have to cut up this bottom piece here, but uh, I gotta get that off my neighbor and he's busy right now. So I'll wait to go over there and scout out a piece of wood for, for here. But for now, I'm just gonna take this old bracket. It used to go on like this. And these holes here, they got good meat to bite into there. But on this other side, the holes are pretty, pretty haggard. They've been drilled out several times and they're pretty loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weld a, a piece of flat bar along here. Come on and focus. There you go. Piece of flat bar in here to extend it over a little bit so I can bite into this area with some nice holes. And that way it'll give it uh, some fresh wood to drill into and we won't be sitting on anything rotten or any of these end joints like this. So I got this bracket all welded up, not my nicest welds ever, but I think it'll do the job. 
ground them down because this is the back side here that goes flush against the camper. So I'm going to give it a coat of paint, but before that I'm going to have to drill a few new holes in here to put those new lag bolts through. So we'll drill that, get it painted, and get it on the camper. So just one more video before I put it back together. You can see there's that piece I put in before. It's all screwed. A few long three and a half inch screws that go all the way into the plywood that's in the back. And then I got this piece put in here that's tied along to the bottom piece. They're all tied together to really help support this corner. And again, this bottom piece is tied into the plywood. This is tied into the bottom piece. So this all should be tied into the floor quite well. And all I got left to do is just push the trim back together, mount up that camper bracket. I weld it up. I'll show you that in a second. And it should be good to go. So I got it all back together now. It's all fixed. Uh, that new piece I put in along the bottom, uh, this camper tie down bolts into it. And then of course it bolts into the plywood underneath and everything. I've got some new lag bolts in here, uh, four on each side uh, to hold it all together. Uh, most of them are two and a half inch and then I had a couple three inch ones to go in on from this side into the plywood there. Mounted the jack back on and it should be good to go. I glued everything, lots of screws. Um, it's an older camper so it doesn't have to be super nice or anything. It just has to work and I think it's going to. So that's together. I did have to take uh, these trim pieces off. Uh, pull these down to take this off and work on it. So if you're doing something similar, you might have to think about that. Otherwise, there you have it. The corner's repaired. It probably took me you know, two or three hours. I had a lot of running around to do, go get stuff from the store and look around to find all the different tools I needed and stuff to get the job done. But if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can too, because I'm a pretty big hack when it comes to this. So if you're doing the same thing, good luck. Take your time, use some good hardwood, glue it all together, and it should work.